We have another half of or other half of our ecology vocabulary to do and kind of wanted to just share my screen here and um, kind of pull out and go through some of the words that I want you guys to be writing down and writing down the information about or discussing in your in the in the vocabulary here. And um, yesterday we were talking about um, I, I was I mentioned the estuaries or the where the rivers meet the ocean and and we're going to do more work with that. Um, it was up here. Right here where you have these usually they're marshlands near the ocean that and it's just the incredible amount of diversity of wildlife and organisms that exist in an environment like this and kind of go through uh, just some of the different facts about a, an estuary and why they're, why they're uh, such rich ecosystems. Um, you know. But um, <clears throat> yesterday we talked, we're talking about uh, decomposers as where we left off. That's the first word that you guys are going to be writing down and your decomposers are obviously not carnivore. They will they act like scavengers, They're not carnivores. They're, you know, but they will, but they, it's how they consume the food. They, the fungus is a decomposer and it chemically will eat its food and bacteria will absorb and, and break down its, uh, the, dead matter, whether it's organic or, uh, you know, where it's a plant or whether it's animal. Organic means um, it's, it was alive or it, 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 it is alive. Um, <clears throat> it was made and, it, and when it dies, it's still organic. But decomposers just have a different means of consuming their food than, say, a, uh, a some type of um, scavenger. The next uh, two words were the food chain and food web, and these two are related to each other. A food chain is just a series of starting with a producer, first level consumer, second level consumer. To give you an example would be plant, would be a single plant, a some type of grass of some sort and then you'd have a grasshopper that would eat the grass and then you would have a bird that would eat the grasshopper and then you would have maybe a snake that would eat the bird and then maybe a hawk that would eat the snake and so there is a food chain and then a food web is just a combination of all these different food chains so remember a grasshopper can eat many multiple different types of plant life and so that's where the web part comes in. A, uh, a bird can eat multiple types of bugs. They'll eat a hundred different types of bugs that they will consume. So it becomes, it starts to look like a, a web, like a, it acts like a spider's web where they interconnect with each other and spread out. And here's a picture right here of what I'm talking about. And here you have the grasshopper eating the, the grass and the uh, grasshopper uh, you know, I, got, I don't know if they, I guess they only eat grass, but you have like a bird that can eat the seeds here and a, and a squirrel, which you need, can eat the seeds. And so you can see how the things start to kind of branch off to each other. And as you move up the food chain, the, the web, the, um, the amount of interactions gets smaller as you get towards the top. Coyote can eat the uh, squirrel. Coyote can also eat all different types of things. But as you get over here to the lion, um, the uh, lion, well, it can it can it can go after a lot of different types of foods too. So I guess it's not 100% true. But there there becomes less and less uh, types of uh, creatures at towards the top of the food chain. Here, there's a lot more different types of first level producers than. Uh, when you get towards the top, the apex predators at the top, there's a lot less of those versus 
there's multiple, multiple different types of first level consumers versus the uh, predators at the top. Um, the next concept that on would be the energy pyramid. And there's a couple concepts here. One is that the availability of energy decreases as you go up because there's only so much energy in a, in a, in a uh, I guess these little, little marmots. Um, the, the wolf only has so much available to it to eat, whereas these guys can eat grass and they have a huge amount that they can, they never really have to worry about food. They're mainly just worried about surviving, avoiding these guys um, and, and not being, um, not being eaten. Whereas, and then the other concept here is just the amount of energy required to maintain each one of these different levels of the ecosystem. The producers have a huge amount of energy that they uh, produce and is needed to maintain the this level of the ecosystem, whereas these guys, it decreases as you go up, up the food chain. Up, you get higher towards the higher level consumers and, and predators towards the top of the food chain. There's, there's not nearly as much energy in, in these levels of the uh, food chain. And then the last concept was just the balance in the food in, in our ecosystems. And these, all these different organisms need, uh, need each other in order to maintain a, a balance. If you don't have enough predators at the top, the consumers start to become too numerous and they start to overeat the uh, producers you know, depending on the ecosystem that they're in. But say in this example, they have a Yellowstone National Park. Uh, the, there is, the vegetation was being overeaten by the uh, first level consumers and they were, uh, they introduced wolves into the pot back to the Yellowstone and they began to kind of thin out the population of first level producers and thereby enabling the uh, vegetation to grow back uh, and be in the, the kind of ecosystem of the park to become uh, more healthy. And so these, the um, all parts and then the same thing is true if there was too many wolves and you over, then the, the vegeta vegetation would start to uh, become uh, overgrow and or uh, become and they because so all parts of the ecosystem uh, need each other to maintain a balance so that is those were the terms I wanted you guys to uh, kind of go over and to kind of uh, maybe reflect upon as you are uh, writing them down and, and, re uh, and, and uh, for today's lesson so I will post this for you guys and I will stop recording.